Okay, so yeah, we get on the tram. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Look, there's part-time worker Mary, looking more doped up than ever. <laughs> now departing! Excellent. We have a nice, long, awkward stare at each other. So, how are you doing? Not bad, you know, yeah. <laughs> Conversation, really up. Why are you going to Trino, Marcus? Because there's still good crack there. Why do you think part-time worker Mary's going? Look at that face. She's like, woo hoo hoo Oh my god, either we're on the, either the cab's moving or I'm high, woo -hoo! Although you can't actually see a face right now because Marcus' speech bubble is in the fucking way. So yeah, they finally learned about an item called Super Soft that they can use to cure blank. Yeah, that's right, blank. Remember that guy that Moogle promised to save but we're not going to bother? Yeah, exactly him. It's my turn for questions. Okay, cool. How much do you cost for the night? Alright, oh, where's Moogle? Oh, she backs off. We separate in Limblum. I see. Got rid of him as soon as you could, huh? Bitch. No! That's not it at all! I only got rid of him because he was trying to haul me out. Well, that's what you're good for. Alright. I don't care about him. Ow. That really hurt. Fine, then I don't know anything. Oh, snap. And then they, and then she's like, dot, dot, dot. And she goes standing on the other side. She's like, fine. Psh, I don't need you. Yeah. You're a dick. Okay. Anyway. Alright. Say, Marcus. Um, is there any way I can help? Why? Oh yeah, sure you can't get on your knees. Oh well, right, yeah, but well, I was partly responsible for what happened, so... Iron Man, go and talk to part-time worker Mary. Seriously. She's like stood... I don't even think she knows where she is. What was that? It was me, I was talking about part-time worker Mary. It might be engine trouble, please remain in your seats while I check. It's probably just engine trouble. <laughs> what is it? Oh my god, the engine's broke. Oh, it's a demon with a pointy heart. Pointy heart. Oh, please don't. Tell me it's not. No, no. I mean, I know it is, but yeah. Dear sweet Jesus. Oh, ha, ha, ha. The French will not be stopped. Oh, I can survive falls of infinite height. Don't you know the secret of Final Fantasy characters? We can all survive falls of infinite height. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Wait, Iron Man. Don't fire your proton torpedoes yet! Uh -huh. It's just like Brothers Canyon back home! <laughs> Mission with Weave Princess alive! And I will do that! I'm going to retrieve her alive! It doesn't understand, but I do understand! I understand the language of croissants and kick-ass! That is why I'm going to lay it down on the floor and fuck you over with a ten-foot pole that, that, that I am holding right now! Alright. So yeah, we got round two! With Black Waltz number three. That guy just doesn't give up. Hooray for the French! Alright. And as you can see, he's um, looking a little bit worse for the wear this time, but he's still pimping out his um, feather coat. I mean, look at that. It's like, yeah. I look sweet. Well, you know, whatever. Alright. Certainly looks a lot better than Vivi does, or Kapok, whatever I call him. So yeah, steal from him. He's got a lightning staff. Um, don't bother curing too much because this is a battle that you cannot lose and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty simple, you just don't do anything. Yeah, but once you've got, uh, I think he's got two items that you're going to want and of course he's got a crappy like ether or something because they all have to have one generic shitty item that's like easy to get. Oh, a steepled hat. Good, I can sell it. <laughs> Alright. Look at my man, he's like, God damn it, why must I be useless in this battle? So yeah, I'm not going to bother attacking him very much, you know, I'm just going to do my thing, you know, cure up, get my shell and protect up so Marcus doesn't die. Ugh. Believe me, it's impossible to lose this fight, so don't worry too much. Couldn't steal anything. God damn it, Leroy! Ugh. My body is aching all over. Seriously, I can't even feel my hips. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. Alright. But no, seriously, I'm, I'm aching. Because I've just, like, last night I played one hour of squash. And anyone who's played squash will know that it is an intense, high-octane, you will be completely battered by the end of it game. Yeah, that's a description. Alright. That's what they've got posted on the wall. You know, squash code number one, warning. This is a high-octane, intense, you will be battered game. But anyway, yeah, I've been doing it. I don't know, I've been playing squash for ages now. But I don't know, I think it's because it's so warm. It's really took it out of me. Seriously, like, oh my god, I'm aching. Aching all over. Alright. Alright.
no, not Iron Man. He's cool. He's expendable. In case you're wondering, I said he's expendable. My, my voice is like, <laughs> shit. We can't have Marcus die. Quick, steal, cure. All right. At least until I've stolen everything. I think I'm in the end. I don't actually manage to steal everything. I just give up and like. I think it's when Marcus dies. I'm just like, oh well, fuck it then. <laughs> All right. Couldn't steal anything. Couldn't steal anything. But yeah, the lightning stuff. I think we've already got one of those. So I mean, that's pointless. I can't even remember what it is he's got. I can never remember what these bosses are, but they've all got, like, one sweet item that you don't get until, like, much later on. Oh, he's dead. Oh. Right, now just keep skipping your turns and watch what happens. Because he has to retrieve the princess in the live, and he's like, oh, 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 and he starts smacking himself. He's like, oh, 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 my God, I'm broken. I'm so freaking broken. Oh, 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 oh. Must take princess back alive. Oh, 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 oh. Crack. Oh, poor guy's a masochist. He's like, oh, I must with weaves the princess. Oh God, it hurts so much. Princess. <laughs> My God, he's skitting out worse than Iron Man. Come on, dude, focus. We can still have this fight. See, I'm telling you, like vagina could just beat him to death. Beaten down by vagina. Ha <laughs> ha! You got your ass fucked by a white mage. That's like the ultimate in in humiliation why is it whenever I like restart recording like the first part I have trouble speaking I'm like blah, 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 blah. it's just because this hot weather it is way too warm to record I'm, like, <sighs> I'm slowly melting All right. <sighs> still got room for a damn fine cup of tea this is a cup of tea number eight by the way yeah I know I drank one cup of tea in one part and made a new one <laughs> all right oh my god mages wiped out the people who would do such a thing? Look, hey man, your thought processor has hidden it from you. But you can hide it no longer. Queen Bran is over is overlording all of this. My god, I can't speak. Alright. We're almost in Alexandria. Are we? Yes, I can just see it down there. This cab looks a bit dangerous, doesn't it, really? I thought it was a cable car. It must not be. Well that's strange. You know, because there's no cable over the top. Whatever, alright. I think we're almost there, and I think you're a pussy. Oh my god! Well, yes, my name would suggest, so, yeah. I'm not like Iron Man. Of course not. You're actually, you know, made of carbon, whereas he's synthetic. And yes, I just re- I, yes, I realized what was wrong with what I just said. Anyway. Oh, speaking of which, yeah. I'm in love with Moogle. Oh, she's not in love with me. I wonder if I could ever get that kiss, or those breasts. My god, look at what she's wearing. Vagina! I'm so hot for vagina! Anyway, alright. I've always wanted to see the marvellous architecture of Trino. So yep, now we're going to help Marcus save Blank, whether he likes it or not. Because, you know, Moogle made the promise and we feel we're obligated to keep it because he's too fucking lazy. I mean, it's not even like he's busy. He's just being lazy. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Okay, <clears throat> enough of that. Take care! I will. Where's part-time worker Mary? Did she get off okay? Is she headed to Trino? Is she gonna be okay past all those monsters? I mean, you know, she's pretty high. Seriously. Come on. There she is! She's- it's okay, she's at the store. I'm at the Alexandria station, awesome. She's at the store! Thank God you're okay! Welcome! Oh, you've calmed down somewhat. You've been drinking the potions, haven't you? You've been like, ah. Oh, always good for the mind, body, and soul. You should go talk to Morris, you know, back in Dali. He's always after some good coffee. <laughs> I think we can go and give him that coffee now. Item shop Vega. Oh, I see. So the one at the top is called Altair and this one's called Vega. Ha ha ha, bloody ha. Alright. <sighs> the hell is this? Oh, it's the crossroads. To Trino, use caution when travelling at night. It's always night in Trino. To Dali, do not vandalise the farm. What farm? It's like three vegetables. And an old glop. No amount of hardship can tear our two countries apart. The boat media cable cars were built to commemorate the 20th anniversary of friendship between Limbo and Alexander. It, they are cable cars! The fuck is this shit? You saw when I was fighting Black Waltz number three. There was no cable. My god. We've broken the game. So yeah, he says we can go to the other side if we want to get to Trino. But we're going to go back to Dali first. 
because we're going to be like, I know where Puck can be located. If you want him back, you must pay to you must pay me one million gil. So yeah, let's head back to Dali to sell as a slave.